Mama, who did you do that for now? You can deceive yourself or deceive another person, but you can never deceive us. I know the content of that will. That will that was read today was not the will my husband left. Why are you like this, Mark? Why are you such an ingrate? Mama, please don't, don't ever call me an ingrate again. Please don't call me an ingrate. Mama, I've worked my ass out for this family. Please don't call me an ingrate. Which family did you work your ass out for? I'm asking you, which family did you work your ass out for? Oh, you think we are not working? The fact that we left everything to you does not mean that we are not working with you. We have done our own share. Do you hear me, Mark? Mark, I was trying at least to salvage what is left in this family. You have pushed me to my limits, Mark. You have pushed me to my limits today. It has been proven that an outsider will always be an outsider. Mama, very good now. This is what I've been waiting for. I mean, I know, Mama, I know you used to call me an outsider in secret. I know. I've always waited for you to call me and Now you've said it openly. Mama, you call me an outsider, me. I know. Shame on you, Mark. I say shame on you. A child I brought up looked at me in the eyes and called me a fool. You may have done what you did today. You may have brought that lawyer over to you. That idiot, that idiot is a cheap person. You opened your eyes to rip your sister and your brother off. Eh? I wanted you to have everything. I wanted to make sure that most of the things get to you. But Mark, I promise you that you will not get anything. Nothing will get to your hands. Do you hear me? Nothing, nothing will get to your hands. Except if I did not give you succor. Mama. When are you leaving? When do you want us to leave? Out of my own magnanimity, I'm giving you guys two weeks. Two weeks, exactly two weeks. Take your children and leave this house, Mama. I don't want to remind you. Mark. Thank you. You gave us two weeks. It is long enough. But I would promise you that when that two weeks comes, you will be the one to leave this house. I stop my feet. Irresponsible ingrate. That is exactly what you are. So this is what you have reduced yourself to. What are you looking for? I am looking for the best thing I can use to, to, to break your head. What is your problem? Huh? What is wrong with you? Why do you want to ruin everything? Why are you such an ingrate? I will call you an ingrate because you are an ingrate. Yes! So, you mean because of that, your senseless and irresponsible wife, you want to throw everything away? You want to even throw your family out on the streets? Ah. They called me illegitimate. I see. Since when did they start calling you an illegitimate child? No, tell me. They started calling you that when you started behaving as one. How dare you bribe the lawyer? How far are you willing to go on this lane? Tell me! As far as I'm not drawn out on the street. Ah. Yeah. They are not willing to throw you out of the street. They are just trying to teach you a lesson. They are trying to make you understand that somebody owns the house. They also want your wife to understand who owns what. And that let her understand that that house does not belong to you alone. 
And I think by the time she understands it, she will have something in her brain. And to think that you're giving your mom an ultimatum? You think they're going to let you walk away like that? No, no, no. Come to think of it. You think Ben is going to allow this slide? He's going to take this lightly with you? No, 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 no. You've got something else coming for you. And I swear, you will regret every bit of this. I'm regretting everything. In fact, I am regretting everything. I regret getting married. I regret reading the will. I regret picking a fight with my family. I regret every damn thing. In fact, I regret being alive right now. Look here. You don't need to regret being alive. Because you need to be alive to solve this problem. To take care of this room that you have caused by yourself. You need to be alive. I never knew a day like this would come. When a son will behave like this to a woman, to a mother, that has always drawn him closer to herself, shown him love, care, and affection. The tears and the pains you've caught that woman. I pray you live long enough to understand it. And you see, as at this moment, I am not proud to be associated with you. In fact, I don't even know if I should continue or call myself your friend. Because you're not worth it. You're not. That is not the will. We know that is not the will. What has he done? Take a grip on yourself, Ben. I have never treated any of my child more important than the other. And I have made sure that no injustice is meted on any of my child. And today, no injustice will go onto any of my child. Not you, not your sister, not even me. I will be traveling tomorrow. I'll be going to the village. Your uncle couldn't come for Mark's wedding because he was not feeling fine. But now that he is up and doing, he has to be brought into this matter. Uncle Amadi? Yes. I will make sure that the will is visited again. And the original will, well read. Don't worry, my son. Don't worry. You will not be shortchanged. Mama, I hope you know that with what he has just done, I have no more love left in my heart for him. You know, right? I know, and I will not force things. So please calm down. But this journey has to be made. It's important. Okay, so when do you intend to go? Tomorrow morning. Okay, I would. I will make every necessary arrangement for money you need and every other thing you need for the trip. But Mama, make sure, make sure that no one chooses Mark over me again. I will never allow evil to triumph over good. So, calm down, my son. Eh? You are my son. Mark is too, although he is straight. But, I will not allow you to be burnt by his actions. Okay? Calm down. I'm your mother. I will not leave you alone. Travel, Mama. Travel. But you will never return.
I want to ask you to forgive me for what my daughter is doing to your family. You see, we give birth to these children, we try to raise them, but whatever they decide to do with their lives is their business. And we as parents can only hope for the best. As for Vivian, she's a lost case to me now. Chief, it is painful that things are going this way. I thought I could salvage what is left. As an elder, I appreciate you for all your concern. I want to thank you for how you have always been a father to my children since Mark met Vivian. If only you can adhere to what I want to tell you now. There's a saying that says, if a mother or father beats a child with the right hand, they use the left to cuddle the child back. Chief, please, I want you to now be on the left side because I want to take over the right side. I want you to do what is right. And I heard the reason why you're traveling. When he arrives, please let me know, because I want to be part of that meeting. I will do as you have asked of me, but I genuinely hope and pray that he will understand. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. I will be on my way now. And please remember that my children are at home. Please don't forget them. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I am traveling. Traveling? Just like that. And you, didn't, and, you, and you didn't even care to inform me. You have lost all the rights to be informed that I'll be traveling. I am traveling. You gave me two weeks to leave this house, right? I am going out there to go and look for another place. Or perhaps search for answers. Why are you sounding like this now? What is your problem, Mark? One minute you hate me, the other minute you want to involve in what I don't know about. Mark, you and I are done. We are all done. So what is the point? Mama, so you're just going to turn your back on me. Mister, pick your stand. If you want to hate us, hate us. Let us fight this fight. Finally! Ah, what is it, Mark? Let me tell... Keep quiet and let me finish what I am saying. Let me tell you, Mark. I hope and I beg you to remain in this house because by the time I come back, you see this thing you call family would have finally been over. And I hope you'll be happy that your wife achieved all her aims. I am traveling. Do you hear me? And I'm going to come back whenever I feel like. Mm. One minute you hate us, the other minute you want to pretend as if, as if you love us. Mark, I am off! Remain here. Become the master of the house. Hmm? Mama, let's go. You lose your... Let's go! Your boss. Save Johnny. Mama, save Johnny. <laughs> 